Good morning guys, it's Israel Santana from WorkSafe and Best Entrepreneurs. And today I'm here to make a video to show you guys how I make a watch list before I trade every morning. And I'm going to show you guys step by step of what I do and how, what is my criteria when it comes down to creating a watch list and trade in the morning. So <clears throat> I'm going to take you guys right away. Um, the first thing that I do in the morning is check my scanner. Um, so you can see this is a scanner. Uh, uh, a scanner, what it does is, it, depending on the criteria that you have, it shows you uh, the stocks, depending on the price that you want, um, the float, the volume, and things of that nature. And what I do is, I only look for stocks that go from a dollar to ten dollars. Not more expensive than that, and not more che and not cheaper than than a dollar. And what I do is, I check my scanner, the, the, the biggest gainers, and I look for stocks that have a share float, which is the amount of shares that they have, that a company has to offer, to buy and sell. And I look that it has to be less than 30 million. I make sure that the stock has volume, but not too much. I like anything between 20,000 to 500,000. So something like 2.2 million, uh, there's a stock that I wouldn't look into because it's already too crowded and what we want is not that much volume because by the time the market opens people can see it and that way they can get interested and start buying shares for the stock so what I do is <clears throat> I go down for the gap scanner which is are, are the stocks that are going up in pre-market hours and basically that's what I'm doing and I'm gonna start doing it now so first one in the in the gap scanner is B L N K W. That's a long name. B L K. Wait. B L ah. L K W. Ah. B L N K W. Okay. Okay. So, what I do is, uh, I can look into versus how the chart is looking and I like to go back all the time to 108 day analysis which is a month six months and I go from there so as you can see right now um, is a recently new stock and it's just gapping up for let's see the news like I was saying in the previous video see I'm looking at the news but I don't see anything that was in in February we in May so this actually makes no um, sense to even look at it so as we can see the stock has stayed like steady and it's been a penny stock see below under below a dollar and it's now for the past let me see five days for the, for the, for the last seven and eight for the last two days it's been going up so oh this stock is new yesterday so what I like to look into is a stock that is going higher pre-market highs for instance that see this price in the morning of yesterday it was at 18 cents and today's at one dollar so that's a good sign that the stock is actually going up and that is above the EMA line the EMA line this line below this, this line here um, I like to look at the five minute chart to see if there's any consolidation or anything and I like to like look into the one minute chart this is not telling me that much because the, the stock is fairly new so I don't like it because I see that it's not moving it's staying steady and the pattern I don't like it that much because it's not it's like it's not sustaining itself but I will keep it as a maybe because it has 257,000 volume, but I don't see the share float, which means I don't see how many shares are being traded, are, are available for trading. So this might go into a maybe. And here, in this watch list, oh, let me eliminate this. This is where I put the, the trades that I'm going to take for the day. So B L L N K W is for a maybe. 
even though look it's already dropping in price which is not a good we need to we need to see consolidation at one dollar not the opposite this stock is clearly going down so most likely it's not even going to pay attention to it so this might be the reason that i'm not going to trade the stock because there's no consolidation and it's already falling down in price you see this is live so this is a stock that i'm probably not even going to pay attention to because i don't trade stocks below a dollar the second one on the list is <clears throat> b l and k oh this is like the same company b b l and k it's four dollars okay i like this one six months sharp mm. it's like shopping it's shopping um let me see what i see well let me go you know one one minute sharp so this stock is clearly going higher than than yesterday and the reason i like this stock is because it's in an uptrend pattern i actually like that and i like stocks that keep their price above the ema line because the EMA line is just an indicator that helps you identify a trend of a stock. And when you see it, that every time the stock hits the EMA line, it usually drops in price. See here? Well, as long as it is above the EMA line, which is this blue line, the stock is going to be up, going up. See what happens here? As soon as it hits the EMA line, it starts going down, a downtrend pattern. We don't want that. What we want to see is this. What we're seeing now respecting the EMA line above in price so this is a stock that I'm going to keep an eye on why because um, it has a, a 3 million share flow which is a share flow that I like um, even though it has 2.3 million shares and I don't like to share um, to trade stocks like that I'm just going to keep an eye on it because it's ranging in the price point that I like and yeah let me see it there I'm going to trade this one I don't like it. Next one on the list is um say share an economy. Say I think I traded this one before. Okay. Let me see if it has any news. Okay, it has news. Let's see what it says. Share an economy international interest into alliances agreement with Ecran Capital Home Dance Limited. You don't need to go into like an entire read you don't have to do that but you have to like see the headline and see if it's something positive so here we're looking into that the entrance to, into a license agreement for a capital home holdings which means that they can do something now with whatever they do so that's all we know I mean we need to know if there's a catalyst let's go six months back 180 day analysis because it gives you an idea and it helps you identify support and resistance. So the lowest the stock has been is two dollars and the highest is twelve. But we need to identify resistance points. We identify the support. That's very crucial. Every time you're making a watch list, you need to identify support and resistance. It's gonna help you make a better decision when it comes out to trading. Um the first resistance that we see is six dollars 595 we're gonna leave it there we're gonna leave it at six dollars the second resistance that we see is at eight dollars the third one ten dollars in the way that I want you guys to see uh, identify potential when you're making a uh, doing technical analysis is you go left and up that's it that's how you identify the resistance you go left up left up left up see that's how you're able to identify the resistance then the next resistance is uh, 11 dollars 11 and the last one which was the highest was 12 dollars so this is a stock that I actually see I might trade it today because for the simple reason that um, it's showing signs of an uptrend. 
which is what we need. It's, it's a little bit in the EMA line, but at the end of the day, you need to remember that the market is not open yet, so things might change. And we see a sign of a pull back here, and it might go up, but it's something that we need to uh, pay close attention to when we trade in it. Let me see if I even recording. Okay. So, yeah. It has. So the reason that I'm trading this stock is showing signs of an uptrend. We identified the, the resistance points of 6, 8, 10, 11, and 12. So, for me to trade this stock, it will have to uh, have a pullback or um, break above five dollars because it's not to, it's not good to trade stocks when they go in uh, in half dollars because is when they sign they show signs of support and, and resistance so I will wait for this stock to break above five dollars for them to take a position. Remember, I trade stocks only from uh, of the price range my price range to day trade is one dollar to ten dollars. Not, not more than that because I'm a day trader so this definitely is going to be on my watch list second on the, the other one um, RKDA is $12 too expensive I'm not going to trade that so it's out of the way now we have YTEN YT, YTEN okay this is we already in the 180 day analysis and let's see we see that the highest point is eight dollars but let's see let's identify support and resistance levels so right now is at two dollars the next resistance would, would be at 280 280 remember left up so the next one that we find is four dollars Four dollars again. Left up four dollars and eighty one cents. Almost five dollars. Well, let's leave it at that. Four dollars and ninety. Let's leave it right there. Again, left up. That's how you find it. That's how you identify the support, the uh, resistance points. And I think here. Yeah, we missed this one. See this one? We missed this one. So up, left. Pop. So we identify the resistance points. What do we identify the resistance points? It's very crucial because this will let you know how high the stock might go up before it drops in price. So here you can see it went to two dollars and seventy nine cents, eighty cents, and it dropped to a dollar. Here it had a high uh, six months ago. Then it went to three dollars, almost four, and then it dropped again. And after the pullback went all the way to eight dollars and then it dropped all the way back and had a little bit a little pullback here and then it saw some consolidation here four dollars but then it dropped again in price so identifying resistance is very important when we create a watch list because it helps us understand when it will be a good entry price for us to take a decision and it makes you take a realistic approach because as you can see the highest that has been in the last six months is eight dollars so there's no way that the stock is going to go to $100. That's impossible. So thanks to this persistence identification, it helps us understand where might the stock go up and where it might stop uh, when it hits a resistance. So we find we found three, four, five resistance points. But this one, we're not going to take it as seriously because from $1.99 to $8, that's a lot uh, of room to cover. We're talking about... 76 more than 300 percent that's time needs to go up to achieve that so we're going to keep it more realistically and we're going to keep it to uh 285 and three dollars and 71 cents and a high of four dollars so keep it more realistic this is definitely a stock you're not going to look into because it's only eight minutes before market on uh, the next one uh nsau three dollars but it's, it has 298 um, um, share float, so it's way too crowded. It makes no sense. A stock like that basically is not even going to move, so it's out of the way. Um, the next stock to look 
and I'm going to look at is A E Z S Y two dollars my price point 13 million shares uh, share float which is under the the range that I like that is a, that, that has to be less than 30 million so it's definitely a, a good price point I, I mean share flow in 26,000 bottom is really good because it's only pre market so let's see A E Z yeah, I was confused A E Z S C S this is the last stock that I'm gonna go into and that way uh, I just want you guys to get a sense of how I do it every morning and that way hopefully it can help you and yeah basically is that so we're gonna do the same thing again six months first we're gonna look for news um, let me see today is the eighth let me see this was the seventh the news I always look for the news why to see if there's a catalyst if, if there's a, a reason why the stock is even moving we need to look for a catalyst because this will give us an uh, understanding on how the stock is doing and if it if it could go up or if it can go down here is only showing the their financial operation results how much money they made blah blah so yeah nothing important here good so let's do this here the technical analysis again um, let's identify the support it's one dollar and remember we go up we go left and up so right now is at two dollars and sixteen so let's find the the next support left and up this is a resistance point that we just found at two dollars and fifty left and up this is the second one two dollars ninety say again this is another resistance left and up three dollars left left and up okay let me see something else okay so we identify the support a dollar we identify the current price which is two dollars and fifteen cents it has no important news but we identify the resistance points so we I will pay close attention to the stock when it breaks above two dollars and twenty cents to take a position because it's respecting the EMA line remember if it hits the EMA line most likely it's going to start going down if it stays above the EMA line, that means a, it's an uptrend pattern. The resistance points, again, it will help you identify where you might find some resistance when um, when purchasing the, some shares of the stock, which is the price that usually goes up before it goes back down. So I'll be careful here. I will probably get in at $2.25, sell my shares at $2.54 or $2.50, and then wait for another bounce and another confirmation that the stock is, might go up to $3.00. So let's get check the, the one minute, the one day, five minute chart. Here's the current chart. Is above the EMA line. That's what we want. The one minute chart. It, this doesn't give give us much, but basically that's what I wanted you guys to learn. That's how I perform technical analysis before taking a position. Um, let me make myself look bigger. So in this quick video, we covered. How was my criteria? Is dollar is uh, which are stocks from either from one dollar to ten dollars, a share float under thirty million, a volume average of at least twenty thousand to five hundred thousand, and clearly identify supporting resistance points. If you do this, this is going to help you have an idea when it comes down to investing, and it's going to have you. Uh, you will be more informed and you're going to be able to make better decisions based on the analysis that we just did. So I just want to make a quick video and uh, that's everything for today. Watch my previous video that I just posted last night and watch this one. Um, just like always, work saving best entrepreneurs during the moment. See you guys soon.